MLK Jr.'s niece shuts down reporters calling Trump racist with 10 words they can't refute. Liberal reporters recently interrupted President Donald Trump's ceremony honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. by asking him if he's racist. However, as soon as the civil rights leader's niece heard about the liberal ambush, she quickly shut up biased reporters with 10 brilliant words. Despite founding the Ku Klux Klan, implementing Jim Crow laws, and vehemently voting against the GOP's abolition of slavery, the Democratic Party continues to ignore their own racist history by hypocritically accusing conservatives of racism. As a favorite ad hominem tactic for shutting down their opponents, these liberal pretenders always shout racist. Instead of offering a legitimate debate, when President Donald Trump signed a bill on January 12, making Atlanta's Martin Luther King Jr. historic site a national park, CNN reporters inappropriately disrupted the ceremony honoring the late civil rights leader to ironically accuse the commander-in-chief of racism. Immediately, the journalists hurled biased questions like Are you a racist? And did you refer to African nations as assholes? Of course, these so-called news reporters didn't want answers, as President Trump has repeatedly offered. They hoped to once again twist any response he gave in order to suit their political agenda. Unfortunately for them, Trump not only walked away without uttering a word, he was defended by someone the left undeniably dreads encountering. After hearing about the revoltingly thin-veiled accusations from biased reporters, Dr. Alveda King, who was the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., chastised CNN and the liberal establishment, answering their loaded question on behalf of her president. Trump is not a racist. He cares about America, period. King unleashed a powerfully indignant rant during an interview with Breit Bart, reminding judgmental leftists that Trump not only does what's best for the U.S. but has done more for the black community than ever before. I agree that President Trump is not a racist. He has done so much, King told host and Breit Bart News Washington political editor Matthew Boyle. And there's all other kind of legislation and things that President Trump is passing, including getting a lot of black folks out of jail, he's working on doing that believe it or not and putting them back to work. And putting America back to work, African Americans especially because our job rate or our hiring rate was so low and it's going up along with everybody else's rate. So President Trump is not a racist. He cares about America, period. And, he said, no matter what color our skin is, we all bleed red. So, he sees black people, all people as people. He sees Americans as the people he is supposed to serve and he's doing that. And he is not a racist. I just really want to say that. King echoed her famous uncle's determination for blacks to not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character pointing out that while liberals divisively believe that minorities cannot do for themselves and need special treatment, Trump sees black people as Americans. Of course, King didn't stop there. In a campaign to snuff the liberal propaganda and feigned outrage over Trump's politically incorrect speech, King issued yet another brilliant response on Fox News Fox and Friends, thanking the network for refusing to cultivate fake news denoting Trump as racist. Racism is just a word that's being banded and thrown about and thrown at the president, in my opinion, unjustly. President Trump is not a racist, she passionately told the panel. What is so outrageous, is, to call a man a racist who continues to acknowledge the significant work of Rev. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., my uncle, in a positive way, and he puts his money where his mouth is. Additionally, King addressed the subject of Trump's alleged comments involving Haiti, El Salvador, and African countries, blasting liberals who continue to ignore the devastating situations in these third world nations by focusing their indignation on the president's rumored mean words. Perhaps saying that in Haiti and in Africa, King began, there was no offense to the people, a lot of dignity to the people. But the hellholes in that some of their own leaders in Africa and Haiti have taken advantage of them and the area and done a disservice to the people, she said, blaming the undeniably catastrophic atmosphere in these countries is the fault of corrupt leadership and government. African people are brilliant, Haitian people are brilliant, productive, and wonderful, and they deserve better, she continued.
I believe that President Trump not only understands that but is making America great again so we can be a big help to clean up some of the hell holes across the world and in our own nation, she said, turning her focus to the work Trump has done for prison reformation and employment. Of course, King is correct in her charge that President Donald Trump is helping minorities become independently successful. In fact, Two breaking polls reveal that support for Trump is rising significantly among the black community. In November 2016, Trump received just 13 percent support among black men and a paltry 4 percent from black women. Now, however, Trump boasts 23 percent support from black men as well as 11 percent from black women. Additionally, unemployment for African Americans has plummeted to 6.8 percent which is the lowest rate on record. Liberals hate that President Trump is helping the black community, which they first enslaved physically and later through government dependence, become empowered and self-sufficient. However, since they can't refute this with facts or civil debate, they resort to calling him racist, which perfectly describes their political agenda. Political agenda.